My name is Crystal. I own a travel consultant company planning destination weddings, honeymoons, and other travels based out of the United States. Although that's where I'm from, I relocated to the Caribbean island of Aruba where I live with my husband and dog for over three years now. This life I built at one time was just a dream, but welcome to my reality. All right guys, here we're at uh, Julio's food truck. It's right across off uh, Eagle Beach. Uh, new Gloria place where the cinema is. Pizza Hut, you'll see the big sign. It's right on the parking lot. Julio's is actually a Venezuelan food truck. Bird is really good, so we came here to check it out. Julio's food truck is first in this video because it was my absolute favorite. Here we have a patacon, which would be smashed plantains to make this little outer shell and they stuff it with a bunch of stuff. Everything was so, so fresh and so good. I got a chicken wrap, so it was stuffed with similar things inside, but in a wrap, and it was just so good. It's not overbearing and greasy. It was really fresh and amazing. We also got a side of coleslaw, which I always love. It's a healthier option. Next up, we are downtown by the cruise port. This is Habibi Express, known for its Lebanese and Mediterranean food. This is a good option for vegetarians as well. They have falafel, they have hummus, all that good stuff. So if you are driving from the hotel area down towards the airport, you're gonna see this on the left-hand side, past the gas station. But my best advice is just look them up on Facebook and check out the map to find out where you're going. decided on a wrap and also capsulon, which is actually more of a Dutch food. It's french fries topped with meat, cheese, vegetables. Thank you. Fun fact about me, I used to own a pizza truck in Connecticut, so food trucks for me really hit home and I just love exploring new foods and new trucks throughout the island. What's up guys, we are back at another food truck. Now we are at Sabor Tropical. This is located a little bit more in the middle of the island. We will put a map here. One thing you're gonna notice is food trucks here open after the sun goes down. This is most likely, if I had to guess, because it's too freaking hot during the day to operate. Here we have the Patacon de Tenderloin. So similar thing to what we got at Julio's, but this one has steak in it. So it's a smash plantain, really, really good. Also, my husband ordered a cheeseburger. Both of these were really good, highly recommend. I just got a chicken wrap this night because I was trying to be a bit healthy. So it's not anything crazy that they would be like really known for, but I added this chimichurri sauce to it and that made it so good. Hey guys, tonight we are at Barbecue Express, located in Palm Beach by the popular Sicko gas station. If you've ever been to Aruba, you probably know where this is. It's one of the main gas stations. Let's go check out the menu and we'll explain a little more. This truck is going to be the closest one to the Palm Beach area that we visit. So if you drive down from the main intersection in Palm Beach, where Wendy's is, you will find this one. Don't mind our appearance in this video, we just got done walking slash jogging with our dog, so we had to burn off some of the calories before we got here. So you can actually order online, which is one of the cool things about this truck. Not all of them do that. Um, you can go on their Facebook, and also it is a Monday. They open at 6 p.m., which is actually pretty early. A lot of food trucks don't open until later. Some of them are closed Sundays, Mondays, so you just have to check their Facebook page and see the updated hours because they do change from time to time. One of the key things about these food trucks is the sauces. The sauces make it, especially if they make their own, so good. Steak, fries, macaroni salad. Oh yeah. 
garlic sauce. We do fries with peanut sauce. Okay, let me try one right now. Peanut sauce, so good. Alright, we're gonna take this home and eat it.